JAMA Network. Jenny Chan is a retired teacher and an accomplished violinist. She also participated in one of two Women's Health Initiative hormone trials. Jenny and many other women were followed for about 13 years after the trial ended. Every year they um, write to me and ask me questions on if I have any uh, physical problems or if I have any dietary problems. Dr. Joanne Manson from Brigham and Women's Hospital and co-authors examined results for a wide range of health outcomes. More than 16,000 women who still had their uterus were in the estrogen plus progestin trial. Almost 11,000 women with a prior hysterectomy were in the estrogen-only arm. In this group, something unexpected happened over time. Actually, with longer follow-up, a significant reduction in breast cancer occurred. The study appears in JAMA, Journal of the American Medical Association. The results for heart disease were neutral, and there were many benefits in terms of symptoms, reduction in hot flashes and night sweats, and improvement in sleep. Also with the estrogen alone, there was still an increased risk of stroke, blood clots, gallstones, and urinary incontinence. With estrogen plus progestin, we saw an increased risk of the primary outcomes, um, especially in the first year of treatment. Those included heart attack and breast cancer. There was also an increased risk of blood clots, gallstones, urinary incontinence, and stroke. On the benefit side, there was a substantial reduction in hip fracture and other fractures, a reduction in uh, colon cancer, in diabetes, an improvement in many symptoms such as the hot flashes and night sweats and um, some improvement in sleep. Overall, the risks of having these medical problems seemed lower in younger women. The trade-off was not favorable when you're talking about long-term use of a medication for chronic disease prevention. Jenny stopped the hormones when the trial ended and is feeling good, eager to embrace retirement. Catherine Dolph, The JAMA Report.